Welcome to lecture 9. In this lecture we'll add some variables to the list for our strawberry material. We'll create a ripeness function that takes in the prediction using a switch case that changes the map in the strawberry material. For debugging purposes we'll add an event listener in our init function that enables us to change the textures with the keys 1, 2, 3 and 4. For the structure this means that we'll add some variables at the top of the script and make some changes in the init function like defining the strawberry material and adding the event listener that listens to the key down event. Further we'll add two new functions. The ripeness function that takes in the prediction and the key input handler. Here are the changes in the existing script. We start by adding the variables texture loader and strawberry material. In the init function the variables are defined. Texture loader is an instance of the free texture loader and the strawberry material is an instance of the mesh standard material. For now we only set the property sides to 2. This means that the texture loader and strawberry material are now ready for use in the ripeness function. The ripeness function takes in a prediction which is an integer between 0 and 4. The function is built up on a switch case which uses the prediction. So the first case is when the prediction is 0. First the strawberry model is removed from the scene. Then the strawberry materials map is set to the ripeness image A using the texture loader and the load method. Just like in the earth model example. Now we are going to use the traverse method on the strawberry to update the strawberry material. The traverse method takes in an anonymous function that uses the strawberry variable. Inside this variable of course we have stored our GLTF model. And if everything is as it is supposed to be, the ismesh check in the if statement will turn out to be true. Then the material of our strawberry variable will be set to the strawberry material that we have updated just a few lines before. In other words, now the ripeness A image is used as map for our strawberry. After the traverse function we set the scale for the x, y and z dimensions to 3 and add the updated strawberry to our scene. So you see for each ripeness we not only change the texture but also the scale from 3 to 4 to 4.5 to 5. These sizes are roughly taken from the image from which we also retrieved the colors for the ripeness phases. Then we end the case with the break keyword. Then the cases for the predictions 1, 2 and 3 are exactly the same. The only thing that's unique in each case is the image that's being used for the material and the size. As discussed in the init function we we'll add an extra event listener. The event listener listens to the key down event and calls the key input handler function. Based on an if statement and the key in the key down event we we'll call the ripeness function with the appropriate prediction. And then it's time to take a look at the result. So we open our index.html file with the live server and still we see our strawberry model rotating. When pressing the key 1 we see that the texture and size is changed. The same for the keys 2, 3 and 4. So now we have created a dynamic way in which we can change the texture and size of our strawberry model, representing the four ripeness phases of a strawberry fruit.